Hey guys, it's Ann at Once Up Homestead again, and today I'm going to make you something that I've been making for um, a few years, and it's delicious, and it's very easy, and we love it. And I'm going to try and show you, I've got my grandson here, and he's awake from his nap, so hopefully we can do this without a lot of crying, but he's happy right now, so hopefully we can get this done without a whole lot of fuss. So I'll turn you around and let you see what's in it. Okay, this is what uh, it's gonna. I'm gonna put in it. I've got canned chicken here that I can, but you can use cut up chicken. You can cook it. Chicken breasts, chicken thighs. It doesn't matter. Just have some cooked chicken. I've probably got maybe two cups. So you could probably just use one chicken breast or one chicken thigh, and it would work fine. I have some tortillas. I have a little bit of this one that I need to use up and some another pack just in case. And I've got a can of green chilies, a container, a whole container of sour cream, and one can of chicken broth. And all I'm going to do is make a sauce with the sour cream and chicken broth and I am going to get the garlic powder and that will go in with it and the chilies. That's what's going to be our sauce. And we're going to use some cheese, and I'll get that out in a little while. So let me get this started. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to put, I've got the heat on kind of a medium. And I'm going to, this wasn't the whole container. I'd probably use some of it out. But actually, it expired in, uh, on the 7th. But it's still good so I'm gonna use it you can use sour cream and yogurt past its expiration date it's fine and the sour cream just kind of melts and I'm gonna go ahead I might not use this whole container but I've seen recipes that use like flour and all kinds of things to make the make the sauce but I don't think you need any of that. Hey! He's in a good mood today. So I'm just going to like add enough to make like a creamy sauce. Hey! leave that like that. Maybe I won't, I won't you have to use the whole container because you are going to add um, the green chilies and they have liquid in those also. I'm just going to put a good bit of, of garlic powder. I'll probably add a little bit of onion powder too. Those are my go-to's in about anything. We'll just stir that together and see it's still it's getting thick. So I'm just gonna not put any any more juice or any ch juice chicken stock. And I'm gonna open this can of chilies. Okay, I'm gonna put my can of chilies, green chilies in here. Put my chicken in. I can just pop the top of it, drain off the juice. Now for next time, I'm gonna go ahead. There's juice in here. I should have used that. It's a lot more flavor. I'll pour some of that in here. And I just let that cook. Especially when you have the cheese and all that stuff in it, it will it will thicken up. So let me let me find something to drain the chicken with. Okay, I'm gonna empty my chicken in here. 
it's already fully cooked, it tastes way better than canned chicken. But if you like the taste of canned chicken, you can always put the canned chicken that you buy in the store from there. Or your roasted chicken, however you want to do it. And I think the chicken will help it thicken a little bit also. You can also put some cream cheese in it. I might do that. If you use cream cheese, you can make it a little bit richer or you can make it a little bit thicker. You could even just use a little bit of sour cream and a lot of cream cheese. Whatever you want to do with it. I don't know about you guys, but I bought a lot of cream cheese at Christmas time. And I didn't use a lot of it. So, I think all of mine that I have expire in like May. So, that kind of helped me decide that I want to put put some cream cheese in there too. So I'm like, I know I have an open container of it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to let this melt and then I'll show you the next step. Okay. Sauce is off and now I am going to cut these up. What I do is I cut it into strips. Just maybe like if you were going to do strips of dumplings. Basically, this is kind of a chicken and dumpling, but you're using um, like a Mexican flavor instead of just chicken and dumplings. <laughs> chicken and pastry. So, I've got five of them here. I think that will be enough. But we'll see. If you put too many in there, they just get gummy. And I like to cut them in half. I know some of them are different sizes, but that usually doesn't matter. Okay. So now they're all just into strips. And just an FYI, you can do this. If you want to make chicken and dumplings and you don't have time, I've done that and I've seen that um, somewhere done and then I did it myself and it works perfectly so I'm gonna take this the strips and bear with me because I've got a thumb injury and I'm just gonna put the strips in there and I lost my Jackson Say hey. Say hey. <laughs> now he wants me to pick him up. Well, I just, okay. I think that five will be perfect. And it thickened up a lot with the cream cheese. Then you can taste it and see if it needs salt. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I guess it depends on the saltiness of your chicken broth. Okay, then I'll get my pan and I'll show you the next step. Okay, I've got a casserole dish and I've sprayed it with some avocado oil. And now I'm going to lay it, put it in the casserole dish. And it's perfect for a make ahead di dinner because you could just let it cool, put it in the pan. Set it in the refrigerator, and when you need to bake it, just put it in the oven. All right, I'll finish putting the cheese on here, and then I'll show you the next thing. Okay, so this is the finished product. I wanted to mention you could always use that Mexican blend that they have in the grocery store. That will work too. Okay, it's the next day, and I just put it in the oven on 350, and it stayed in there a little bit longer than I would like, but it's hot and bubbly. I took the, the foil off and put it back in and just let it cook until the cheese gets melted. 
So I hope you try it and I hope you enjoy it. See you in the next video.